Good evening. Today we learn how to subnet IPv4 networks. We now have three examples here which we will compute and we will use a quick strategy on how we can subnet networks easily. First off, given a network with IP address 192.168.0.0 and a prefix length of 24, we would like to divide it into two equal subnetworks. First off, we need to determine if the network above is a valid network address. And the easiest way to do that is to compute the network address. So network address is equal to the IP address, in this case network address is equal to 192.168.0.0. Do a logical AND with a subnet mask, in this case the prefix is 24, therefore the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. We do a logical AND on each and every digit, so 192 and 255 is 192. 168 and 255 is 168, 255 and 255 and 0 is 0, and 0 and 0 is 0. This number is identical to this number above, therefore this is a valid network. Next step is to divide the network into two. So given 192.168.0.0 slash 24, the easiest way to do that is to increase the prefix length by one. So in this case, the destination prefix length would be 25. Next step is to determine the byte boundary of this prefix length. In this case, we have 25. So the byte boundaries are, first byte boundary is from 0 to 8, second byte boundary is from 9 to 16, third byte boundary is from 17 to 24, and the fourth byte boundary is from 25 to 32. That places this destination address of 25 in the fourth byte boundary. What is the significance of the byte boundary? This will tell us which digit changes when we subnet. So since 25 is in the fourth byte boundary, that means the fourth digit changes. Therefore, the first three digits will remain the same. Next step, of course, is to replace the first subnetted address with the original network address, which is 192.168.0.0. Then we determine the last digit of the second address. Normally, it follows the formula, the previous number, which is 0, plus 2 to the power of the maximum of the byte boundary, which is 32, minus the destination prefix length, which is 25. In this case, 32 minus 25 is 7. 2 to the 7 is 128. 128 plus 0 is 128. Therefore, our second network would have an IP address, 192.168.0.128.25. That wasn't very difficult, right? Next, we divide a network, say, into three. But if increasing the prefix length only increases the network by half, then how do we get an odd number three? So one of the strategies is basically to divide it to two first and divide one of the destination net one of the resulting networks further into two. So let's try the procedure again. First, let's determine if this is a valid network address. Subnet mask would be this, given a prefix length of 16. That way. And we compute the network address. So 10 and 255 is 10. 0 and 255 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. And 0 and 0 is 0. Therefore, this number is the same as this number. Therefore, it's a valid network. Next, we divide this into two. The quickest way to divide into two is to add one to the destination prefix length. Now we determine which byte boundary the destination prefix length belongs to. 17 is between 17 and 24, therefore this is in the third byte boundary. Therefore it is the third digit that changes. 
next the first subnet will always copy the network address of the previous one and the second one will basically have the previous digit plus 2 to the maximum of the byte boundary which is 24 minus the destinations prefix length 7